Despite Facebook sitting on a gold mine of data, they allow you to keep it private and share what you choose to share. They also allow you simple access to adjusting your privacy a number of ways. By default, Facebook sets it to public. So it's a good idea to check this default as soon as you set up your account. You can access it several ways on your device. You can find the shortcut on your status update or on your activity log under timeline settings or in a drop down menu with privacy shortcuts or in a more extensive page. What you're going to see is who can see my stuff. Who can see my future posts? I'm going to edit that. Generally, I want friends to see my future posts. But I can change that. I can adjust who sees things on my timeline. I can go down to more options, custom, and there I add who I want to see. So I might like it to be friends of friends. I might want to spread it a little bit further. I want to might, might want to show it just to people in my town, in my area. I might like to show it to someone individual. So I have an option of who I share my information with. I can tag people in a post. So in other words, I can add their name to a post that I write and that'll go straight over to their timeline. Same with photos as well. I can also decide who I don't want to share it to it with. Some may decide, oh, I don't want to share that with Rodney. I might not want to share it with my town. once I've worked out who I actually want to share it with, who I don't want to share it with. So I'm restricting a group of people to reading that post. And once they're restricted, they don't actually know that they're restricted. You can actually keep people restricted permanently if you like. If people are bothering you, you just restrict them. You don't really want to share stuff with them. And once you've got that, you just click Save the Changes. but I wanted to click and save this one with friends. How do I make a list? Let's have a look. Making lists is very easy. You go to your home page, go down the screen a little bit till you come to your friends, then click on more. And here's where you'll find your lists, even the restricted list. So you could actually add people to that and they're permanently restricted. Now, if I want to send something locally, I have a list here of Bansdale. So these are the people that are local to me. I might like to edit the radius. So I might like to extend that to 45 miles. I haven't worked out how to change that to kilometers. I want to save that. And what I'll have here is 84 people live within that region that I've just, or radius. So now if I send a post, it is only going to those group of people that live close to me. So I can make it as quite private. Another list that I can do is, I can create a new list. So if I want to create a brand new list, I might call it camera. called a camera workshop because that's what I'd like to do is to have some workshops on cameras. So I'm going to add some people that I know that are into my cameras. Sue Braggs and Sue Wyatt. 
So now I've created, and, and I could put as many as I want on there. I could have 50 people, a dozen people. Then I just create that. And what I have now is a list with, at the moment, only two people, but it's about a camera workshop. So if I'm going to send some information to them, I might like to send a photo. So I'm going to look for a photo. And I've sent that off so that the only people that are going to get this photo are in my list, Camera Workshop. I post that on, and that's now gone to just those two people. So that's how I can create a list and send off to a list. Very simple, very easy. If we decide that we no longer want a list, we can also delete that list by clicking on the name and to the manage the list. So if I want to delete it, I just click delete and delete that list and it no longer exists. It's out of my list. Lists are very handy, very useful.